Hello, welcome. My name is Cindy St. Martin and I'm an angel therapist, practitioner. <laughs> Thank you for being with me today. You're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of January 27th. 2013 so I thank you for being with me today I hope you had a great week I had already called upon God the angels and the ascendant masters to assist our reading today I all you have to do for any help divine help is ask that is and surrender it and don't worry about it and let them handle it whoever you call upon whether it's the angels the saints the Ascendant Masters, or even God. So tonight is the night of the full moon. Uh, and it's always the full moon brings us changes and, and positive things if you choose. If you want to let go, you're fed up with something, just release it to the full moon and the energies uh, and love of the universe will open doors and make it happen. But if you're unsure, if you're tired of something or fed up with something and you're afraid to let go or you don't believe, then it's going to delay it. Okay, so you have to have faith and believe. So today I will select three cards from three different decks for our reading. And I am going to start the reading with the, um, the Daily Guidance Angel Cards. So I'm going to shuffle and we'll see. Whoop. The card fell out, so I'm going to use this card. Obviously, the angels are telling us this is what we need to do. And it's Cleanse and Detoxify. And it reads... With great love and respect, we ask that you detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us. Feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. And this comes great with the full moon. You know, um, the, the first thing for anything to manifest is to love and respect yourself. So by, by loving and respecting yourself, you care what goes into your body, you know, uh, and emotionally and how you feel, too, is part of loving yourself. If you let things stress you out or you let someone's actions bother you, that, that toxics your body so you want to release that whether it's food or getting rid of negative people in your life you know you want to take time and do that and you want to call on the angels for their help they're there to help you do this once you make your mind up you have to make your mind up and say I'm fed up this is it I'm done with this then and you can ask the angels help me get through this show me the ways to make my life better and guide me and then you will know information will come to you they'll give you that extra push but remember you also have free will to choose so uh, even though if you choose to detoxify your body and cleanse your body soul and mind this is all in one thing this isn't just your body but your whole essence of you your soul to cleanse it then you want to call on the angels for their help. Call on God. Call on the ascended masters. You want to call on them for their help and just say, I'm fed up. I need change. I need peace. I need happiness. I need good health. Mentally, spiritually, physically. And it will come to you. Amazing how it does. You know, if you want to join a gym and maybe you feel financially you can't afford it, Surrender that. Something's going to happen that you'll be able to afford that gym membership. Or maybe you'll get a free membership. Or in other gym, uh, information will come to you that's one that's affordable. So if that's what you want to do, you surrender it and let them find it for you. Okay, the next set of cards I'm going to use 
are the romantic cards. And we'll see. And you know, once you get rid of, like we're talking about the romantic cards, once you cleanse and detox, detoxify your body and your mind and your spirit and your soul, it opens doors for new things. So even if you're looking for a romance, a, a soulmate, or, or some type of romantic relationship, you know, detoxifying and cleansing your your body, mind, and soul will help open the doors to that as well. It all goes hand in hand in loving yourself. If you love and respect yourself wholly, then others will do likewise. Okay, so I'm going to continue to shuffle. Okay, um, the angels are telling me to take the top card and not to cut the deck. And it's calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. If you release control, your prayers, it says your affirmations, and visualizing being with your soulmate, you're calling out to the universe, to God for them, and it'll bring you together. You know, I often say, if you have that uh, that um, your prayers out there for a soulmate, you got to pay attention to the answers you get. Like if they tell you, go for a walk in the park, and you're like, oh, I don't feel like going for a walk in the park. I'm tired. I don't feel like doing this. Well you're being guided maybe you, you're probably going to meet your soulmate if you go for that walk so pay attention to your intuition because your intuition is actually divine guidance it's knowing it's soulful it's it's in your past lives it's it's the wisdom that you gained and that you know and um, and your intentions that you put out there are come to you through your intuition or those little thoughts that come in your mind. So you want to pay attention to that. And so if you put the information out there, you want to cleanse and detoxify. You want to get rid of everything that's in your past. You know, that plays a role on you too. So you want to get rid of all that. Surrender that. Ask the angels for help with that. Uh, cleansing, renewing yourself, making yourself brand new is going to open the doors even for your soulmate. Okay, so that's part of loving yourself, you know, getting rid of the, the past, things, anger, uh, grudges, all that. You want to get rid of that. That's toxic to your body, and you know that. So you want to, you got to get rid of it, and you call on divine help to help you. Okay, and the next set of cards I'm going to use are the gateway cards, and we'll see what they say. It's amazing, once you do this, uh, the cleansing, how doors just open, things just change for you. And you have, you have the power to do this. You, and you, you are backed by divine wisdom and guidance that makes you powerful to succeed. Our egos make us weak. But again... We have free will to choose the will of the ego or divine will. It's your choice. And so many of us choose the ego. And remember, the ego is everything that's negative. It's worry, doubt, fear, looking down on yourself, being depressed. That's all the ego. <laughs> Card flip over. So we're going to use this. It says, believing in magic. Oh, wonderful for these cards. True magic is abounding in your life. <laughs> I love this. Cleansing, detoxifying will help calling on your soulmate. Things are changes. It's magic. It's divine magic. Know it and work it in your life. And things will manifest amazingly. If you, if you concentrate on this and surrender, being the knowing makes you powerful. 
and you'll see these changes. You're happier. And when you're happy, doors open up, just like this path. So you want to call on Archangel Michael to help you with this. You want to call on God to help you. Your angels call on help and cleansing, shielding you from your ego. Every day I surrender my ego to God to take it away and let your divine light and love come into me and then come out of me and guide me. And you know, it's just like if you want to lose some weight, and that chocolate chip cookie's calling you, and you're like, oh, I really shouldn't, but you know what? I had such a rough day. I think I'll eat. I deserve it. <gasps> no. No, you had a rough day. You need to bless yourself and love yourself, not punish yourself. That's punishing yourself. That's not treating yourself. You know, I had such a hard, rough day. I think I'm going to take a hot bath and maybe have a nice cup of tea or a glass of wine. That's what I'm going to have. Now, some of you maybe shouldn't be drinking alcohol either, but go for a massage. That's treating yourself. How about going for a walk? I deserve to be connected to nature and God. That blesses my soul. So it's how you look at things. You know, that little intuition saying, don't you eat that or don't you do that. You need to listen and say, you know what, I love myself. I'm not going to punish myself. I'm not going to hurt myself by eating this cookie or smoking that cigarette or even drinking that wine. <laughs> you know what's good for you. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. Oh, I was shuffling the Archangel Michael prayer cards. And the card is go forward fearlessly. And it reads, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. This is great because Archangel Michael's going to help you move forward to cleanse and detoxify your body. So doors do open up. So you manifest soulmate and magic comes into your life. And it, he'll help you along the way. But again, you have free will to choose. He's going to guide you. Are you going to listen? Are you going to be magical? Are you going to stand up to what needs to be changes in your life? You are in charge. You are the master of your soul. You control how you think, feel, do, say, everything. I wish you good luck with this this week. If this resonates with you, please share with others. Even if it doesn't, maybe it will resonate to someone else. But remember, what these cards are telling you for this week can travel on for a month or more. This may not resonate with you this week. It might happen next week or the week after. Things are being put in motion right now for these things, and they're happening now with the full moon. I invite you to join me in my live chat tomorrow night on Sunday night at seven o'clock. I changed the date from Thursdays uh, to Sundays. Hopefully it'll bring more of you to join me. If you are interested in having a private reading with me or a session of any kind, I invite you to go to my website at cindyshealing.com. Send me a message if you have any questions and take time and look around my website. I have some interesting things you may uh, enlighten you. So uh, like me on Facebook and uh, follow me on Twitter if you like um, and other uh, places. Okay, so thank you again for being with me. Have a blessed and glorious week. Enjoy the full moon tonight. Maybe you can. Get, I know it's probably cold, but if it's a clear night and you can see the full moon, open up your blinds. Let the full moon's rays come into your home. Uh, 
clean and clear your crystals and, uh, and maybe go for a little short walk to absorb the energies of the moon. So have a wonderful week. Thank you for being with me. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.